Salutations, ladies and gentlemen, the Streaming Enderman here, back again with another video. And today is probably going to be a quicker video than usual, and it's going to be a look at this knife. Now, this is a Taylor's Eyewitness Barlow, and it's probably not the Taylor's Eyewitness Barlow you're used to seeing on this channel, which would be this very high-end collector's piece with mirror-polished blades and bolsters, file work, and such like. This is much more of a budget, basic knife. That doesn't mean it's bad. In fact, it's actually really, really good. So let's just have a quick look at it. Of course, here's the box. Just has the eyewitness logo. This is pattern number 100. Sheffield made Barlow pocket knife. You can see your carrying maintenance, warranty, etc. So, yeah, very simple box. Good store hanger, in my opinion. The knife just comes in this plastic case. And here it is. Now, this knife is very, very basic. There are no fancy little touches here. And I'm going to immediately start by comparing it to this knife, which is, of course, part of the Premier Collection. Now, the Premier Collection Barlow, I don't know if the camera can pick this up very well, this has exotic desert ironwood. Beautiful, beautiful wood. Very, very high quality. It just looks fancy. It looks elegant. It's a very nice bit of wood. But because in the Premier Collection, they use higher-end materials. Stag, Mother of Pearl, Ram's Horn, Buffalo Horn, Amboina Burl, Desert Ironwood. So you could expect that. Meanwhile, here, we've got a more basic hardwood. Now, that doesn't necessarily, again, mean it's bad. In fact, it has quite the nice grain pattern. Feels nice in the hand. And it doesn't look all that bad either. I bet some beeswax and maybe some Danish oil would just really help this. You can see stainless steel pins. And I believe here, yep, stainless steel pins, just mirror polished. Stainless steel bolsters with the eyewitness logo on either one. Again, same thing here, just mirror polished. Stainless steel, 420HC, clip point, blade, very pronounced clip. With the eyewitness logo again right there. And yes, same thing, 420HC, um, clip point blade. Same blade, of course, same logo. Just that this one is mirror polished. This one is not polished. Nice nail nick. Pretty deep. Has a half stop. Very, very good spring. I'd say about a six and a half. Same thing here. Very, very pronounced half stop. So you can see, here's what the two knives look like closed. Again, you get that side-by-side -side comparison. You can see the shiny bolster versus the more plain bolster. The dark exotic wood versus the kind of more plain hardwood. The mirror polished blade and pins versus just the plain blade and pins. You got the plain back here versus the polished file work on the back for the spring. And you can also see that the Premier Collection has brass liners, while this one has stainless steel liners. So, mu much more simple color palette. This one's got a bit more to it. It also has a much higher price, so that is to be expected. But we're going to be talking about this knife more. Half stop, of course. Very deep nail nick, but of course this blade sticks out enough you could just pinch it. Very strong half stop. You can see that the way this blade is machined, it's actually square. So it lays flat on top of the knife, just like this one. So this really helps because it means you're not going to get a lot of dirt or gunk on the inside of your pivot mechanism. As you can see here, with a rounded pivot, that's a lot more likely. But here, because it's flat, 
that's not going to be a problem. And again, because it's square, it's going to mean for a stronger pull. But very, very snappy action on this. Transition is pretty good. There's some tiny minor gaps here and there, but nothing too major. I mean, it is a very roughly finished knife. So a couple minor gaps are easy to excuse. Transitions between the, the um, hardwood scales and the bolsters are actually really good. And the pins are quite flush indeed. So very good sanding work, if you ask me. Just very smooth feel here overall. Very much like that. The logo is stamped well in all three areas. You can see it nice and clear. The blade grind is very well done. Came sharp out of the box. Not as sharp as the Premier Collection, mind you. This one is very, very, very sharp. In fact, let me just grab a piece of paper. I will demonstrate that for you now. All right, so here you go. And again, this is the near factory edge on both knives. Here is the basic model. Sharp enough to maybe cut an apple, but not very sharp to cut paper. Meanwhile, this one, right here, the Premier Collection. Oh, now, there we go. It's the angle I was holding it at, but you can see when, as long as I get it at the right angle, which I can't seem to do, it is very sharp. But, of course, when I try demonstrating that, it doesn't work so well. There we are. I do have sharper knives, but you can see this one is noticeably sharper than this one. Not by a huge, huge margin, but just enough that you will notice. So, of course, understandably, a bit more care is put into the premier line because they are much more expensive they're much higher value but that doesn't mean that these are again bad knives it just means that they're a bit more basic you have to put a bit of love into them and doing so will give you good results again maybe polish the wood up a little sharpen the blade and you will have a very good user knife that could last a lifetime so very very nice there again Really love the action, very snappy. No blade play. Uh, Centering's a little off to the right, but it's not bad. Actually, it's close to perfect. Again, a couple tiny gaps here and there, but that can be excused. The centering can be excused because it's very close to perfect, and this is a very cheap knife. But again, I think that overall, for a budget knife, this is very well executed. The blade is very user-friendly. It's a very comfortable knife. The way it just fills the hand. It's a wonderful knife to hold and use. The same thing, of course, goes with this one. But this one, I feel uneasy using because of the kind of more high price tag. It's more of a showpiece for me. Not something I'd plan on using too much. Doesn't mean you can't. It's still a perfectly good user. But I actually bought this for that reason. I didn't want to carry this, but I really like the feel of it. So that's why I got this one. This one's for using, that one's for keeping in its box and displaying around. But in the meantime, again, decent, decent overall uh, transition. The, the tiny bits of gapping can be excused. The pins are flush, the bolsters are well sanded. The stamps are good. The walk and talk is great. Just overall, it's a very nice knife. I very much like this. So yeah. Let me know what you think of this knife. Maybe leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell. 
And yeah, this has been the Taylor's Eyewitness Basic Hardwood Barlow. And this is the Streaming Enderman, as always, signing off. Goodbye.